scientists admit the for the destruction of the Yellowstone supervolcano eruption. Yellowstone is one of the supervolcanoes in the world that scientists have been warning for years that it is too late to erupt. Will the Yellowstone volcano erupt in our lifetime? That's the question the countess volcanologists have been asking in recent decades. Over the past few years, new insights into the workings of a volcano's magma chamber reservoir have been published, all based on seismic data collected from seismometers installed around the caldera in 2020. These findings are important for understanding exactly what's going on beneath the surface and whether eruptions or other seismic activity may occur. However, many questions remain, and it should be noted that no matter how testing goes, nothing will reduce the devastation caused by an eruption. As a result, some scientists say the world was not ready for the Yellowstone supervolcano explosion. Yellowstone has erupted three times in the last few million years, the last eruption being 1,000 times larger than the catastrophic Mount St. Helen event in 1980. So massive was its last eruption that it created the massive depression known as the caldera, measuring 55 kilometers long and 80 kilometers wide. Scientists believe an eruption at the site is long overdue with the last eruption estimated to be 640,000 years ago. The average distance between each eruption, according to records, is about 660,000 years. This is a theme explored in the Smithsonian Channel documentary, Yellowstone Supervolcano, in which scientists discuss the likelihood of an eruption and what might happen after it. Geologist Jake Lowenstern says he's tired of Yellowstone's unpredictability, mostly due to its size and complex nature. Natural systems can make us like curveballs, he says. Many things can happen for which we are not really ready. Just below the caldera lies a magma chamber fed by a hot semi-molten plume that is 465 miles long. While the chamber is mostly solid rock, it has the potential for complete melting which could eventually push up against the Earth's surface. Currently, magma is thought to rise through the plume and into the magma chamber at a rate of about 2 inches each year. Moving upwards, scientists will become concerned. As Professor Robert Smith of the University of Utah noted during the documentary, this restless Yellowstone caldera is literally alive, breathing. And every once in a while, it burps. Mr. Lowenstern has spent a great deal of time researching Yellowstone's volcanic activity, studying the patterns in its last three eruptions. In two very large eruptions at Yellowstone, so much material was ejected, Entire mountains eventually fell to the ground and basically disappeared. Cubic kilometers of rock, dust and volcanic ash into the atmosphere. It covered most of the US, entered into the Pacific Ocean, and even found itself in the Gulf of Mexico some 2,000 miles away. For now, Yellowstone is showing no signs of being ready to erupt. Intense seismic activity throughout the park, with weeks and months passing before earthquakes or cracks in the rock above the magma chambers appear.